everyone. I hope that you guys are doing well today. Me and Miss Winona are very warm, but doing good. I think today it got up to 80 degrees, so it is getting quite hot here, um, but it is still very chilly at night. So um, we are kind of going to go from long sleeves to other long sleeves, but I just have been really wanting to put this beautiful um, like aqua-ish grayish colored onesie on her. And then I just got this new panda hat. It is so cute. So I've been really, really wanting to use that as well. And today I, of course, have a topic per usual. I feel like I always like need to have a plan for something because otherwise if I just like make a video with no like thought behind it, I just go into weird rants. So <laughs> anyway, um, I have some really exciting news first that is gonna kind of lead us into the topic. So lately I have been kind of searching for a new Reborn to add in my collection. I've been just having so much fun um, spending time with the dolls in this quarantine that I feel like I'm just ready to add another one, although I might have to sell. So we will see um, just based on, you know, room and funds and everything like that. You guys know how it is. Um, but anyway, as I was kind of searching around for a new doll, I realized that I just have this weird extreme bias against realborns. So before I like really get into this topic, I just want to say that all of this is really just my personal preferences and my sort of thoughts on, um, realborn kits versus reborn kits. And I do really, really enjoy seeing everyone's versions of Reelborns. I don't, like, judge people who decide to use them to Reborn or to collect. Because um, a lot of them are very beautiful. I just think that it's, like, a personal thing that I'm not a huge fan of. So, and I also do not have anything against the company of Bountiful Baby or anything like that. I actually really enjoy purchasing from them because they are actually pretty, pretty close to my hometown, which is nice. So all the shipping stuff gets there really, really quickly, which is great. Um, but anyway, so why am I so against Reelborn kits? Um, so I think just the biggest thing is, is the difference between what a Reelborn and what a Reborn is. So a Reborn doll kit has been sculpted out of clay by an artist and then once they are sculpted out of clay, they are sent to a factory to be distributed in vinyl kits. And so what you get is a vinyl version of the sculpt that the artist did. Um, and then a Reelborn kit is, I'm pretty sure it's 3D printed. It's a 3D scan of a real baby, so it's a complete replica of a real baby. And then I'm pretty sure they 3D print it. And then they use um, vinyl to uh, mass produce it. So same result. Um, so it's not like one is lower quality vinyl or anything like that. It is honestly just the process um, that is used to get there. However, as a collector, I think that process is very important. One of the things that has really kept me in this hobby is just um, the artistic sort of interest. I've always really loved art and I love to jump from hobby to hobby to hobby that includes art because I just love experiencing new things all the time and I feel like I've been able to keep my interest in this hobby because there is always just new artistic techniques and everything like that just happening all of the time. So you're always getting something new. Um, however, when you get a real born, you're not really getting something that was sculpted, that's art. You're getting something that's 3D printed. And to me, that makes a huge, huge difference because when I look at Winona, I see every hour that that artist poured into each little finger. Um, so many times that the artist like fixed the nose to make it perfect. Um, the little tongue inside, it's really just all of those tiny details. How uh, Nikki Johnson sculpted the feet and sculpted each individual wrinkle. That to me is huge. And every time I look at her, I find something new because she's not just a replica. She 
is something that an artist took many, 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 many hours um, in order to combine like a bunch of photos, uh, videos of babies, different um, views of arms and legs all combined into one beautiful sculpture. And every single artist and every single sculptor have a different style. And so I think that it's just been very important for me along my collection to experience new sculptors because, um, you know, not one sculptor sculpts feet the same way. However, a 3D printer is always just going to capture, you know, what it sees. Um, and it's not, you know, the 3D printer's perception of how a newborn looks. It's literally just how a newborn looks. And that to me just doesn't feel as special. And I think that my collection is just so small at this point that I just feel like I really want something special and something very magical. And as you guys know, I always have such a hard time with these wraparound onesies. If I had a real baby, these would not be good for me <laughs> at all. But anyway, carrying on with this whole subject. Um, so anyway, yeah, I just feel like it's so important to see um, the work that people really put into something. And that's what was what I've loved about this hobby. When I had an Ashton Drake and it was factory produced, I didn't really feel like I had something special because even though those babies are sculpted, you know, it's kind of just like a one piece of the art you get, but you don't get the whole experience because all the paint is put on by a factory. <laughs> and that's just, that's not what I collect for. Um, oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's just like, look at her. It's not just about the painting. It's like about how her ears just curve around and like the little, you know, the little indentation that Nikki sculpted on her head and it's just everything, everything about the dolls. And even though, as you guys know, I typically purchase secondhand, I do kind of like knowing that money was going to an artist um, rather than just a big company so when companies sell kits, they do get a portion of the, um, the sale, which is why doll kits are so much more expensive. So typically a reborn doll kit um, costs around $100, whereas a real born doll kit usually costs around 60 because it's just one person doing everything. Um, Bountiful Baby scans the doll, produces it, ships it out to people. So there's not like a bunch of different steps where people need to be paid differently, if that makes any sense. So um, there's nothing really going to an artist and that's totally okay. Um, it's just my pro, because Bountiful Baby of course needs money too. They have a very big family and I do think that it's going to a good family, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But I just feel like there's something about supporting artists that really is deeply ingrained in me because at one point in time, I was an artist trying to sell things. And it's really hard to sell a piece of artwork because it costs extra than what you would buy at a store. So for a while, I was selling just like simple um, skirts and dresses. And, you know, I had to sell them for $30 in order to make a small profit because first you have to pay for the fabric, like the sculptors have to pay for the clay, um, and it just takes so much more time and effort. But people, a lot of the time, would rather get something that's a little bit cheaper. Um, and I get that, I totally do get that because I do that all the time too. But I think that it's just nice knowing that some of um, what you pay for when you pay for the doll went to two different artists instead of just one. So I think that's kind of cool in my opinion as well. Like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with realborns. They are really, really great for people who are just learning how to sculpt and they're really practicing their technique and they just want something inexpensive to start out with because you know you don't want to buy um 
a limited edition kit that everyone is after that costs like a couple hundred dollars cents because a lot of people like want um super rare super sold out kits to be reborn by someone who really knows what they're doing because there's only like a such a small amount and that's another thing with like realborns versus reborns is realborns there are tons and tons of kits they don't really have like additions so there's not like a set amount of dolls before they stop making them they kind of just stop making them whenever they feel like it or never I actually don't know about that so if you guys know let me know because that's the one thing I'm definitely like not very educated on when it comes to realborns um, but a lot of dolls are limited edition and so there's only a few amounts of them in the world I believe her kit is 1500 in the world and so yeah, as a new artist, you might not want to start with that. It's, it's expensive, you're worried that you might mess up, um, you're stressed about it, so it's better to just have something to practice on. It's a good practice tool. And I think that it also um, is just really nice uh, for people who want ultimate realism and want it to look exactly like a real baby, especially like the moms who, um, had their real babies turned into real borns. Like imagine how cool that would be is having like an exact replica of your newborn baby. That would be awesome. So I think that's super cool as well. Cause even though like sculptors can get um, like replica, uh, what are they called? Can't remember right now, but yeah, basically like a, they try to sculpt a replica of a picture of a newborn baby. And a lot of them get extremely close. A lot of sculptors are extraordinarily talented but it's not like an exact scan copy. So I guess that's another cool thing. There's definitely pros and cons, but I just personally feel like it's not for me. And I feel like I'm probably the only one that has this as opinion, which is why I titled the video Unpopular Opinion. Um, but I'm actually curious to see how unpopular my opinion really is. So if you guys um, absolutely love Realborns, good for you. I'm glad that you enjoy them so much and I'm glad that Bountiful Baby makes a good option for you. If you're a little bit iffy about them, let me know. Let me know why. Um, I hope that we can have a good, safe discussion down below. No one hopefully will get too heated. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and enjoy how adorable she looks in this panda hat. I love this. If you guys um, put your email into Loved Baby, they'll send you like special deals and this panda hat was part of one of them and I'm so, so happy that I got it. But anyway, enough, enough talking for today. You guys enjoy. Bye-bye.